What's up everybody? Uh, this is Doc from TankTerrors.com and today we are going to just show you real quick how to measure for stray voltage inside of your aquarium as well as a quick demonstration of a few different items and how much voltage they leak into this 10 gallon test tank that I've set up here uh, just for the demonstration. Um, you're going to need a multimeter. This is a digital one. Uh, up to you what kind you use. Um, obviously you want it on the VAC setting, which is AC voltage. That's what your house pumps out. Should be around 120. I've already got one test lead plugged in to the extension cord here. Plug in the other one, 121. Pretty much normal. Uh, so you leave one end plugged into an electrical outlet or an extension cord. You don't have to use an extension cord. You can plug it right into the wall uh, to measure your aquarium and see if it has any stray voltage. And then you take the other end and you just stick it in the water. So you can see it's in the water here. You really only need the tip. We go back to the meter. There's no voltage at all, none. So that's, you know, in a perfect world what you want to see, but in an aquarium, unless you have all really high-end stuff, uh, something's gonna be leaking and you're gonna have voltage. Uh, right now it's still showing zero. What I'm going to do is plug in this uh, in-tank filter here. It's an internal filter and see what we get. So it's plugged in 46.8 volts. Now, this filter of mine it was a known offender. That's why I'm using it as the test. It's pretty old, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's past its time. Where stuff doesn't last forever, you should replace it every few years. Um, but as far as what it was, it's, the, well, the bottom just fell off, but it's a Penplex Cascade 600 internal filter. Uh, so next up, we're going to test a couple of stealth heaters by Marineland. <clears throat> They're the all black plastic ones. Anyway, so we're going to drop this one in. This specific one's the 200 watt model. And the tank it goes. And let's plug this in and see what we get. I've not tested this heater. I don't know what it's going to put out. So, we're looking at about 8, 7, 6, about 7. This one's a 250 watt. Watt stealth in, see what we get from this guy. Well, it spiked up at first, and now it's down to a fairly reasonable number. Not too terrible. So that's the Stealth 250. Change it up a little. This is a uh, 550... Uh, Penguin 550, Penguin 550, I believe. Uh, it's a Marine Land, actually. So Marine Land 550 is what that guy is. Marine Land 550, we're looking at seven and a half. So we're gonna throw that guy in, in the old pot there. In we go. So we'll plug in the seven and a half water. Go to the meter, 3.8 volts, very little, pretty much as little as you're gonna see. So a little seven and a half watt here just leaks a little, but it's also a very small device. So that might play a part in the fact that it doesn't leak much. Eighteen. Looking at eighteen volts for the high door four hundred water number one. Got number two here, high door Theo four hundred watt. And we go. Seventeen point seven watts. Not too shabby, especially for 
400 watt device. And one last item. Okay, we've got the Via Aqua Pump plugged in here. Pumping water. And on the meter, 5.1. Very low. Very low, for, especially for a large pump. So that's a pretty good reading. All right, so that wraps it up. Uh, hopefully I answered any questions you may have had about testing voltage in your aquarium. And now you can go try it on your own aquarium. If you get a really high result, the easiest way to figure out what is causing it is to unplug one device at a time. And as you unplug them, just subtract the amount that it went down and you can see how much that device is putting in. You know, you can pretty much do it in your head as you do it. If you've got, you know, 70 volts and you unplug something and it only goes down to 65, well, you can plug that back in. If you unplug something and it goes down to 20, then that's probably your culprit. I will be testing a few other devices in the future just to show you guys, you know, what they may put out. Uh, and I'm also going to be putting up reviews of a couple of these heaters and uh, stuff as well. You can go to uh, tankterrors.com and check out some other cool stuff uh, about fish and, you know, the uh, aquaria hobby. Uh, any questions, just leave me a comment or post them on the website.